All right, guys, looking at the work you did yesterday, brilliant job with that. I think just some of us need to remember to take our time a little bit more with it. Don't try and rush through these questions. Take your time. They might look easy, but you need to really think about what they are asking you to do. So here we've got ones uh, that are about adding and subtracting with tens and filling in the missing numbers. So if we've got 53 add 30, what is that equal to? So look at this 30, we've got a whole uh, tens there. We haven't got any ones. So we're just looking at adding on our tens. Don't rush the question, take your time with it. Something add nine is equal to 79. So what's changed about 79 from nine? What do we need to add on to that? What's the difference on there? 40 add 46. Again, all that's changing is those tens. Please don't rush with these. You've got to take your time and think about what you've got uh, wrong. And if you have uh, marked it and you notice that you've got some wrong, go back and have another go at them. These questions on here are looking at adding and subtracting with hundreds. So you're looking at missing, filling in the missing numbers. So very similar to the last ones, 400 add 500 is equal to, mm, so think about, if you know that what 4 add 5 is, then maybe you can work out what 400 add 500 is. Try and make it simpler for yourself. 900 subtract something is equal to 100. Think about there, if you add what's 9 subtract 1, hmm, make it 100 times bigger, I might be able to help you out with that, guys. Looking forward to seeing how you get on with it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.